Wednesday, March 23, Prime Minister Mia Motley has challenged the World Trade Organization to do more to help poor and developing countries battle the impact of the climate crisis. Delivering the inaugural WTHO Presidential Lecture Series under the theme Reinventing the Global Order in Geneva, she called for an appropriate financing mechanism to be put in place to help vulnerable countries transform energy, transportation, agricultural, and manufacturing sectors. Because many assume that we have small island developing states and developing countries have large debt stocks purely because of corruption and profligacy. When in truth and in fact, the work that has been done and is being done by UNCTAD is also showing, and in the CARICOM region, is showing more and more that a lot of that debt has come as a result of one, the climate crisis, and Madam DG, I have to say this, although many may not want to hear it, that since the establishment of this August institution and its failure to accept the need for special and differential treatment, that our countries have also seen significant contraction in our domestic productive capacity in industry, in manufacturing, and in agriculture, largely as a result of the people who occupy this room not being able to accept that there truly is a genuine trigger for those countries that will not distort global trade. In the Prime Minister chastised rich industrialized countries for simply telling poor countries that they should care more for the environment. She made it clear this type of rhetoric will not solve the climate crisis. Motley instead proposed that developed nations contribute U.S. $500 billion to be placed in a special trust for 20 years to help poor and developing countries transform their energy and agricultural sectors and fill the climate financing gap. My friends... Rich industrialized countries telling poor countries and less industrialized nations that they should care more for the environment will not solve the climate crisis program problem. Indeed, our ability to be able to spend money on mitigation and adaptation is constrained by that simple absence of fiscal space that has been triggered by the highly indebted condition that we have, we have developed and, and come to accept for the last three decades in particular. It will not be solved, the climate crisis that is, by an economic system based on prices determined by today's supply and demand with an adequate regard for the future. And we will not solve it by techno-optimism and some loose change being thrown at people. In other news this Wednesday, third to sixth form students across the island will have their chance to explore several career options as the Barbados Association of Guidance Counselors hosts the 15th staging of the National Career Showcase next week. Speaking during the launch this morning, President of the BAGC, Dr. Patricia Welch, says this year's showcase will see approximately 8,000 students being able to access information from various fields, including the arts, science, and technology. This National Career Showcase has been one of the major responses of the Barbados Association of Guidance Counselors in preparing our students for the world of work. Beyond, for the world beyond school. Like everything else, the COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in a change format. But this morning's activity is testimony to the determination of the organizers to ensure the continued exposure of our students to opportunities for work and study. On behalf of the Ministry of Education, Technological and Vocational Training, I wish to commend the President and the members of the Association of Guidance Counselors and all other persons involved for working tirelessly to make this event happen. Education Officer Serlene Griffith Willoughby praised the organization for hosting the National Career Showcase for students amid the COVID-19 pandemic. She said the showcase plays a critical role in preparing students for the world beyond school. The intention is to support the holistic development of these young people so that they can become productive citizens in the future. Hence, our association the Barbados Association of Guidance Counselors, which comprises of guidance counselors within all of our public secondary schools, a few private schools and tertiary institutions, be effectively facilitate career guidance and counseling. 
Our mission is to contribute to excellence in education by upholding high ethical standards and provide effective individual and professional support to members. The Queen Elizabeth Hospital is now in a better position to treat patients suffering from heart attacks. That's in part due to a donation of five electronic cardiogram machines and five EKG carts valued at approximately U.S. $140,677 from the Barbados Canada Foundation. Speaking during a handover ceremony on Tuesday, Minister of State in the Ministry of Health, Dr. Sonia Brown says the new equipment will go a long way in tackling the island's high rate of heart attacks and other heart ailments being seen among citizens. This is, will now become a part of the cardiology project which has been on board since, I think, 2020, um, where the Prime Minister, well, on, on, on talking with some of the regional players, realized that we need to attack cardiac problems head on to get some measure of control. Right now, are up to the last statistics, we were dealing with a mortality rate of some 25 or a little bit over percent of the uh, cardiovascular events leading to death. The hope is to get to a world level of about 5%. And what does that mean? Yes, we heard the dollar value, the some 144,000 plus dollars, a part of the donation. But with the dollar value, you also have to think about the value to the patients and hence the population of Barbados. Um, we have put measures in place, by we, I mean under the directorship of uh, Mr. Tony Harris, and the Queen Elizabeth Hospital put things in place to, to see if we could get the numbers down to that 5% mortality rate. So There's regional and international news after this short break. Caribbean Cool is a refreshing juice drink that contains 100% vitamin C that you can enjoy any time of the day. It has a refreshingly awesome range of Caribbean flavors. Moby, orange, fruit punch, pineapple, sorrel, and pineapple coconut. Suitable for any occasion. Caribbean Cool. More oxygen means more energy, means more adventure. Cure Oxygen, natural spring water infused with more oxygen to improve your energy, immunity and performance. The next generation of hydration. Cure Oxygen, nature's ultimate water. To regional happenings in Trinidad, Minister of National Security Fitzgerald Hines is assuring the public that immediate steps have been taken at the Golden Grove Prison to reinforce the area where five prisoners escaped on Sunday. We get more of this report from TTT News. Minister Hines toured the Golden Grove Prison on Tuesday and had a first-hand look at Dormitory 4, the exact location of Sunday's prison break. He says discussions have been held with the engineers of the prison service and engineers of the defense force to find solutions to prevent a reoccurrence of the situation. And while he's pleased with the interagency response, which led to the recapture of four of the five escapees in 24 hours, he's saddened by the actions of the inmates. low-risk prisoners. They were not expecting that from the reports I've had. These are men who, was, who would have done fairly short sentences at the um, Carrera Island prison. On the international front, Pope Francis has weighed in on the ongoing war in Ukraine. He says more weapons are not the lasting solution to any war and has called for a ceasefire. We get the details from Reuters TV. I would like to take a minute to remember the victims of the war. News about people who are homeless, people escaping, people who have died, people who have been wounded. So many soldiers fallen on one side or the other. This news of death 
We ask the Lord of life to liberate us from this death by war. With war, everything is lost. Everything. There is no victory in a war. Everything is a defeat. The solution is to work together for peace. Well, that's news, but for the very latest, you can visit us at www.barbadistoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook, and sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on Izumi Media and Bus Terminals, as well as screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also hear us on Capital Media HD, 99.3 FM.